Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to the realm of Vastin. We are here, we have been doing some work, not a ton has been done, but we've been just planning. There's a dock, I think Ninny was planning a dock here. Grumpy built this house, which I'll show you in just a sec. It's very, very cool. And I've been kind of working out an idea for some different things. Grumpy and I are going to get together um, in probably the next episode to uh, plan a bit more of this town. Because I have a couple ideas and we've tried to talk a bit like via Discord, um, Discord chat. Um, but we should probably just talk about it like in person because it makes more sense. Um, I want to show you a few things that some cool things. We'll come back to the house. Um, Porkers is still fine. He better be fine. I know Grunt. Whoop. Porkers. Where is Porkers? Oh, my. we're going on a mission. We're going on a mission. Where the poop is Porkers. I found him. Oh, he's all the way over here. Dang, this dude's traveled far. All right, we need to get the carrot on the stick and ride him back. I don't know how the heck he got out. Oh, that was terrifying, man. Oh, Porker's come back. We don't want to lose you. Geez, that is a far distance for a lone pig to wander. I mean, holy crap. Look at this. Hey, what's over here? Well, that was cool. I kind of skipped across the ground. Oh my gosh. That is quite the distance. Like, look at this. Porker's like, if I hadn't flown, I would have never found him. What the poop are you doing? No, you can't get away from here. Come on. I know I don't look. Oh, I, <laughs> I have my, uh, uh, I did I, I did a squid farm in... Oh, this is dangerous. It's dangerous to walk around where there's snow and a cave underneath it because you just don't know where the snow is, like where the blocks are and where a snow layer is glitched out and like floating. Um, but uh, I'm in, currently in my squid skin because of... Um, in the Waystone series, which if you haven't checked out and you want to see more derpy things... Uh, that is gonna, the waystone is gonna be, like, my relief building sort of thing. Like, we've got all this, we've got this really cool server to build on. We've got Bruin build, which is really gonna be cool. Um, has some cool stuff coming up, especially. And, uh, then we have, um, the waystone. And the waystone is more of a, a server, like, the way I'm treating my waystone videos is doing derpy things, like making a giant squid farm. Or, or I didn't make the farm, um. Waffle Stick made the farm, and then I made a squid store for his squid, um, squid ink, and it's 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 pretty interesting. If you want to see it, go, definitely just go check out my latest waste on video. That's what's going to be alternating uh, back and forth. Uh, this week will probably be more vast and heavy, just because it is a new um, series. But we need to figure out. I think he got out right there, and so we need to just. Fix that real quick because I do not want him getting out again. So we're just gonna. Um, sorry, bud. <laughs> nope, can't go like that. How about there? That's good. Oh, he probably got out right here. Yeah, that's probably where he got out. Okay, we can do that. And then is there any place over here that he may potentially get out? No, can't get out. Okay, now I think he is officially trapped in here. Yeah, you see that? I see you. I see you. Okay, I'm gonna go get a leaf block and actually change that up. While I'm down here, I'm, I might as well show you what Joel has done. Um, so he has, we've got this storage area, and he decided to make this bulk storage because he does redstone stuff, and uh, I'm going to hopefully try and learn some stuff from him, but he's made this bulk storage. 
um, thing for cobble, andesite, granite, and diorite, and it's one level down. It's not all the way down, so it's just right down here. And it's something simple for those that are doing the mining down below to be able to send everything to these chests. And it's very, very cool. And he has actually left this redstone stuff open so we can see what in the world is happening. And I gotta say, I love the wooden hoppers. We may have to do something like that in Bruin Build because I really love them. We don't redstone, and it's not like you ever use hoppers for anything besides uh, really anything. But... Um, so he's made this uh, giant tunnel of ice here that they slide across, and they really get going pretty fast. It's fly. Ooh. Whoa. Um, but he's got so this ice thingy going all the way down, and then there is an input chest somewhere down here. I think it's over here. Ah, there it is. So I actually was down, the ice tunnel is right down there, but there is this input chest right here that you just drop all those different stone types um, in. And so let's say, let's drop like, I don't know, eight in there. And then they should, oh, the ice tunnel's right here. Yeah, so they get shot down this way. And then once you make it all the way down, they get filtered into those chests. And that's really, really awesome. It's really great for uh, especially Clotto. So I know who's been doing quite a bit of um, digging and stuff. It just makes life a heck ton easier. So thank you, Joel, for that. Very, very cool. Uh, very much appreciated. And hopefully we'll be learning a little bit of redstone from him. Um, but I'm going to go fix Porkers little place make it so we can't actually get out and freak us out um and then uh yeah i think we're gonna get to doing some building i have a couple ideas and it's mainly planning we're gonna do a few odds and ends in this episode um but i think it's gonna be good a couple other things that have been done just real quickly this little bridge i really love this bridge it's like super simple but it's really cool um, and I think Grumpy and I have some cool plans, not with the bridge, but with these river areas. So the idea I have that I'd like to work on a little bit today, maybe, is so there's this here, which looks like it could lead right into this kind of hole. And I thought this could be a really cool thing. So we're going to have like a big crypt and that's what Klatos is digging out. Um, and so there's going to be this huge catacomb crypt underneath. And I think it would make sense that the tree needs water of some kind, um, that maybe the root system is warm enough that there can be water. It is an ice tree, but maybe the roots itself, like the, the, tr the trunk itself is not like frozen it's maybe the leaves or something i don't know i have to talk with lore expert uh fix and grumpy <laughs> to figure that out but i thought it could be cool to have these um well kind of like the river mainly flows that way but has a small inlet here and it flows down and i mean this goes down a little ways and can connect up with other stuff but something else i thought could be cool is that um, over here, so I've built up this wall because I think it'd be, it'd be interesting if the roads are very sunk down, um, mainly to uh, shield them from maybe like the high winds and stuff. Their houses can can be um, fortified like this, like these are very strong bases and can withstand the winds. But down here, when you're walking, um, the walls will there'll be walls on either side, and or and some like that can help uh, block the wind. And so I have, I started making this platform and planning one out and I'm going to hold off on that because, um, I know Grumpy has a quite a few ideas for the town, uh, and he and I are going to get together and kind of figure that out a bit. Um, but this idea, he, he came up with this idea here cause there's this little pond here and he was like, well, maybe there should be something that's happening, um, here where maybe the, well, the water's eroding away the wall or something. And then I, I saw there was a fissure on the other side there. And I thought maybe that could be another inlet of water that goes down and feeds to where to like the root system. I mean, the roots, if the tree's that big, the roots are going to be coming out way far into the town. I mean, tree roots are huge. 
Um, and so I, I kind of, he started making a little thingy here and I kind of ran with it, extended it further down to where maybe the water is kind of rushing in. And, uh, I, this also, this is gravel. This is Jermsey's new gravel texture and it's absolutely beautiful. It's making me think about changing some textures. Um, I really love this dirt and I'm not sure what I would do to change it. But anyway, so this is the fissure and I kind of lined it and extended it up and put a bridge across, which we can go look at. But I thought the water could rush down here and this actually goes down. And so much of the work is already done and it's already would feel very natural. And perhaps there is an entrance here, down here. Um, so if you think of, um, think of if you've played Zelda, uh, Twilight Princess, there is an underground water system that leads to Lake Hy Hylia. And so perhaps this is similar to that um, where it's kind of just eroded and become a water system that's underground. So there's a frozen river up top and a not frozen river um, up here. And perhaps the stone and stuff is just warm enough to keep it so it's not frozen. Um, I don't know, something very, an, uh, so, an idea I think could be cool. Also, Grumpy and I have been working on figuring out uh, this how the like walkway would work out. And I think we've both come up with some <laughs> pretty cool ideas. Um, it all started with, he had been putting this terracotta in here into the wall just to try and like experiment around. Sorry about that, my dad came out. Um, and so I came in and made this wall section here in this walkway and uh, just kind of experimenting, making more icy sections. Um, and trying to kind of gradiate the andesite up into the cobblestone, kind of like this is a dirty portion of the wall and the wall is actually this color. And then putting some snow and stuff. And I started putting, this is uh, Jermsey's texture for clay. And clay is now white, basically. And I thought it was a good way to mix up the snow texture. And then Grumpy came back through and took it a step further and put diorite wherever the snow touches and it just is adding so much like how it's it's been really actually quite fun to build something like you come through with an idea someone else comes through with another idea and you come through with yet another idea and then someone else comes and puts like finishing touches on it and you're just like i don't know it's been very fun having that sort of process it's been very fun but if you come up here there's a little, this walkway and stuff. And uh, then I started experimenting around with this, but I'm going to hold off on this because I don't want to mess up Grumpy's plans too much. Um, and so we've got like the wall section I thought would go around here and wrap all the way over. I made this bridge too, because this is that crevice. Um, I thought that could be interesting having a um, sort of like an area where you can't walk, but you can actually look down. I thought that could be interesting. Um, but... I figure that the platforms, if we're going to plan out, just uh, like have this in this video, um, the platform would come across or all the way around to here and that it would like wrap with this and there would be another platform here and that it would just be like platforms that are kind of forming around and bridges across the river and stuff. And so they go very much with the land. Um, I thought that could be interesting and this would this would be like the floor level for the platforms and there'd be walls and stuff. Um, it was all very much spawned from the idea that Grumpy had put with this house. Um, he had originally made this house up here and I had not taken the time. <laughs> I didn't take the time to actually like go up and look where he had put the house. He had actually made it. So there was like a wall you go up and then you go back down and the, in this wall area, this like doorway was two blocks down. And yeah, right here. So I guess it was one block down, but that was <laughs> kind of the spawning point. And then we we got together and looked at this. And this house, I got to say, look at this house. It's very cool. Such a cool design. Grumpy is a very, very good builder and comes up with some very unique looking builds. But that is, I believe, concrete. Um, in this texture pack, it is shingles and that is very cool something i'm also thinking about experimenting with in our texture pack as well 
Um, and I don't know what that is. I think that's another concrete. But yes, so that's enough show and tell. I uh, had a bit of an adventure with uh, Porkers being gone. And now I'm going to go and do some grind work. We're going to go and uh, do some mining uh, down below. And then we may actually go and try and get mending, though I don't know if we have any emeralds. <laughs> so I may try and find some emeralds and then we can try and go get a mending for our, if anything, our elytra, but this also, ooh, we're just gonna go and do some some of the grindy work that needs to be done here. So I will be back in just a little bit. All right, guys, so instead of doing some, uh, oh, Nini's on, hello. Instead of doing some digging and stuff, I'm going to go try and find the Mending Villager, which I have heard is quite, quite the feat. Um, a quick update, I've been working on this little pathway a bit, and I think it looks pretty dang good. So, oh, creeper. So what I've been doing, and, wow, so many enemies. What I've been doing is extending the roadway that Grumpy made, and then uh, there was this little ice patch here, and so I gave it a source and go away and what i th stop it you interrupted my flow um so i gave it a little flow of water here and something just to add a little bit of fun effect too is there's flowing water underneath it um just to give it a little bit of movement um and i've worked on this cave area a bit and extended it down i don't remember what else i showed but basically now there's water above this making it so it drips and feels moist and uh, the water will eventually flow down here, and this will be a flowing sort of river that goes down underground, is the idea. But uh, so it's been it's been fun. I've been working on this um, a little bit, trying to get it up and going a little bit more, and I think it's fun. And this pathway, I really really love. Now I'm waiting on Klotos. I don't know where in the world he is. Oh, he doesn't know where I am. Maybe he made it to the button. I think we're... I told him. Oh, there's a boat being built as well. It's very cool. Um, but Fix and uh, Ninny were wor was working on that. There we go. I'm at the button, Klotos. Who is it? Oh, that's Ninny. Okay. Well, I'm going to wait and uh, try and uh, get to the Mending Villager house and then go on an adventure a bit because I've heard it's quite the adventure. I've got some wheat all ready to go and I've got emeralds ready to go so that's going to be good hello Klotos. i am ready to go so i will see you guys in just a little bit okay we are ready to go and they they're currently discussing if uh, i'll be able to make it and they're waiting to see how long it takes for me to break and i i think they're they're not giving me enough credit Ooh. okay we actually need this so i'm gonna steal this oh i can't break anything here oh <laughs> okay, uh, then I'm going to take these with me, and I guess I'll take everything with me because I I, I, <laughs> I think I need those. Um, okay, so we are in a labyrinth now, and each of these rooms leads to something. Like, I, I think I saw this in Fix It's video. Fix, you didn't do the ceiling. Come on, man. Um, and I think this is like a maze of some sort. <laughs> I'm not going in there. Uh-uh. This is skeleton waiting. Um, I'm just going to wander this way. Well, that's unnerving. <laughs> uh, I just want... Oh, this, looks, this is like the starter room. <laughs> this is terrifying. I hate this room. That's like his the the black wool block is like a void block. Um, so that's how he's getting this sort of black texture. And yeah, this is so trolly to have. Fix, you messed up that one room, I think. Uh, get out of here. Get caught in doors. Um, so I, I really don't. Whoa. What's going on in here? It's just a pumpkin room. 
Here's a room of pumpkins. This is really cool, though. This is really cool. I think we should do this in Bruin build, have a, a black wool ceiling. I think that could be really, really neat. Um, and does this go anywhere? Can I swim? Can I break this by swimming? Ooh. Ooh, here we go. Okay, here we go. Ooh, ah, e, ah. Here we go. Nope, can't do it. <laughs> Dang it. Trying to figure out a way. Um, so I'm just going to leave chat on because I'm sure it's going to be entertaining because they're probably going to be talking about me, me, me. This is kind of cool. I don't have a bow on me, though. So I'm just going to have to attack this guy, like, real quick. Good thing we have Smite 5. What's down there? Nothing good. Uh, Sarah. Way to open this. Is there anything up here? No. Is that dirt? There's dirt up there. Oh, he put the brown carpet so that it would blend in a bit, but also not mob spawn mobs. Well, this spawned mobs. Fix. Finding all the flaws, man. Finding all the flaws. Void. Well, that doesn't look good. Uh. Mm. Oh, that's a dispenser with a water bucket. Well, there's got to be something in here to allow me to get over there. Or... I could just... <laughs> Ender Pearl. Um, I don't know where I am now. Um, but we're just going to keep on fix. There's so many materials here. Holy crap. Like, look at this. What are you doing? You keep it. I, I'm going to, I'm taking the andesite. We need the andesite. Uh, might as well take the diorite too. I mean, I'm just going to loot this whole place, man. He going to leave all this stuff. Mm. <laughs> Nothing. You know, I, I don't know why I expected anything to come from that. That, because that, 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 I know what's in that chest. Anywho, let's keep on, keep on going. And I believe this is so we can get out. Uh, actually, no, that's how, I'm confused. Why, why is the water trigger there, but not here? If you, to get up, I don't know. Maybe I, I didn't do it correctly. Um, just a snow. Well, this is really cool. This could be some really nice inspiration for the current area, this snow area. This is cool. It's like a nice little snow farm. Um, not going to do anything here, though. Is that an enemy? It's a zombie. Okay. No. 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 Who are you? Mending Master. Well, I, I don't want you, because you won't trade with me. And uh, I'm just going to go. Jeez, this is such a long tunnel. Okay, we're going to go, and I think the door that uh, Fix had said in his video that is the original door back is the sunk-in one. Uh, somewhere around here. Some wait right there. Okay, so now this is the center. Let's go along this path. Glass. This is what we did in uh for our glass, our black and our um Well, this is terrifying. Um, I have to... F <laughs> this is terrifying. Where the poop? Oh, this is just a tiny hole. This is super cool, though. Aha! Try to trap me in some place. Pa! I've got enderpearls. Whoa. What the heck? This is terrifying. This, like, is messing with my brain. How do I get up there? 
can I get up there? I I just I just want this is gonna be risky, but oh gosh. Ooh, look at that. Mine. <laughs> I feel like I'm totally cheating this. Uh, this is hilarious. This is really, really cool. Oh, okay, so the wall's right there because you can tell because the fence is connected. Okay, that's cool. Uh, and now we got to reverse parkour and do this the easy way. So we say. Okay, getting out of here. And, oh, I remember this from Fix's video. I'm not going to go in there yet. I just want to see, see what's in here. No, nothing's in there. What's in here? What is this? Hello? Nothing. Okay. Well, moving on. Um, let's slime. Whoa. That looks terrifying. I hate how slime slows you. That's... What is this? This is just a room. Just a nice decorative room. You should put some sheep in here. That'd be a nice little sheep farm area. Just for funsies. I don't know how you get the sheep down here, but... Nothing, 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 nothing. And... Is this a tree? Just like a tree farm? It looks like it. Yep, just some like rando tree down here. Not bad. I think that is appropriate. Now, I don't really want to go down here because I'm pretty sure this is just a way to troll you and just like extend this whole entire hallway. I, I, I don't feel like derping around like that. Is this the right area? No, that's the sheep farm area. That's not a sheep farm. Nope. I want to know what this is. I really do. Not there. Hold on. Something just made a weird sound. Ah, here we are. I don't know what moved, but I'm, I'm kind of terrified. And I am curious to see if you have to ender pearl your way back up here in order to get out. So we're going to try and do this without falling. And I say that and we're probably going to fall. Because um, I am not like great at parkour. Um, we're doing decent right now, but it's going to all fall apart. <laughs> I feel it. Uh, this is terrifying. <laughs> oh, baby. Okay, last platform to get to. <laughs> ah, there we go. Well, I'm going to stop that. I'm, <laughs> I'm going to take all those. Knowing me, I'm going to need them. And anything else this is super cool like this is what i want our world to be i want our world to turn out like this now how the heck do i get out of this oh there's a stairway i didn't actually see it wow okay uh i wanna i just wanna can't sleep here man okay okay that's not a door um all right what oh Oh, the door right here, you know, right here. This is super cool. The floating, everything, super cool. I really wish there were like some more hidden chests. I think that could be really fun. Like hidden little knickknacks around. Like I found that little rupee and stuff. That could be cool. Oh, there's a nether portal. Hmm. Wait, do I have to ender pearl down there? Well, I kind of want to take a look at this build for a second. I just kind of want to see what's in here. Huh. This is cool. I like how dilapidated it is. It's pretty fun. Um, we're going to we're gonna wrap ourselves around here. Ah, there's a wall right here. You can't even tell. That's nuts. Um, okay, we're going to... Oh, the wall's right here. That The ceiling is right there. Oh, my gosh. Okay, uh, we're going to go, I guess, to the end portal. I, I, I guess, or not end portal, nether portal. I guess that's the appropriate place to go. Um, not really sure, man. I don't really have any idea. What the heck? 
Okay. Well, I'm not going to actually take this. I'm sure you're supposed to just like walk through there. Um, I, we don't go into the end in this series because into the nether, I mean, because of this whole world being at war with the end. What is this? Oh, this is just so you can like, oh, it's probably for creative if you're, yeah, that makes sense because you can't walk through this in, uh, in survive and creative, I mean. So we're going to have to, ow, ow. This is nuts. This feels like the nether, man. I mean, it's not hard to make things feel like the nether. Is this lava? Yes, it is. You left a death trap for me. Um, There's a stairway down okay oh dear that's a lava pit i i'm curious if this is uh he made this or if this was just here and he was just like nah, it kind of fits it, it'll go well oh you're supposed to fall through the lava oh i'm gonna do that let's go back up and fall through the lava let's eat first let's eat <laughs> We always have ender pearls, and I think our pants have fire protection, if I remember correctly. Yeah, fire protection three? Dang, these are good. Yeah, gotta get the full experience, man. And more gravel. I will take that. Don't need the stone. Okay, sorry, uh, fix it. I am, a uh, oh, iron. I'm gonna take the iron, man. I am just totally looting this place as well. And gosh dang it, my dog wants out. Diamonds! You know, if I wasn't a bad, a nice person, I mean, I, I would totally take those diamonds. Be back in a second. Okay, my dog is being dumb, so he's not coming in, so he's probably going to bark here in like three seconds, and then I'm going to have to bring him in. But we can continue on our adventure. Um, this is quite a fun little build. Can you go back there? Dang. I, I keep thinking with all the new water mechanics, he would have some sort of like tunnel you have to like swim through. But I forget that this has been here for a while. So, oh my. I did not see those guys. Oh my. Get in the lava, you derp. There you go. You did. Holy. I can't. I AFK'd right over there. Oh my gosh, that was terrifying. Let's, uh, let's do fix a favor. Oh, I can't actually place anything. That's slightly silly, but this is also a, this is a dangerous place. It's dangerous. It's a good thing that mob griefing is not on. Oh, this is cool. I like this little build. Is there any way for me to climb around and totally not do what I'm supposed to do because I like I like it I just enjoy exploring these types of things because they're so fun I'm sure there's nothing at all up there I'm sure we're supposed to go in here and then I'm guessing if we go like that it teleports us yep I knew it gotta check Ooh. No, can't sleep. Um, well, this is slightly terrifying. Just slightly terrifying. And I see. <laughs> Look at that. There's no door. Can you imagine if I fell? That would be <laughs> stupid. Uh, what is this? Oh, is this the villager? Did we really make it? What? I guess I didn't really. I mean, I had some hint. I had some hints and stuff from watching Fix it, Fix It's video, but I, that I really didn't pay much attention to that. Uh, if I am being honest. Oh. Hello. Earl Tannis. One mending book, please. Boom, baby. We got mending. And then bread. I'm not giving you bread. Huh! 
<laughs> Holy. You scared the pants off me. Oh my gosh. Well, guys, we actually made it. And I'm somehow crafting man. Oh, she's already been here. So she she already knew the way. We I've never been here. So that was a fun adventure, though. We found Earl Tannis. That's very fun. And we have a mending book. And I might be able to squeeze one more out of him. The main thing I want to put mending on is my pickaxe and then my elytra because I think that will be very, very handy. Ooh. Is this written at all? Pride and germ were here. And criddle. And pixel. Okay. Um, so I did some trading. And with all the wheat I brought in, I actually was able to get one, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, just six. Six mending books. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> but, uh, I will replenish the wheat. I feel like that, it, that was one of the easiest ways to get it was he has a, a wheat trade for 22 and for emeralds. And it's, uh, I mean, this is a pretty good mending villager, like trade. I know this isn't an actual mending villager, but, um, I have heard it is a challenge to also get out of here. And, uh, the first challenge is to figure out where in the heck we actually should go. Uh, oh, that. That scared the crap out of me. Because <laughs> all I saw was this, and I was like, oh, well, this is a nice flat surface. And then I saw that, and that that confused me. This is a really cool build. Um, I really want to go down there, but I can't. I can't. Um, so I got to figure out which way to go, and I'm really not sure. Uh, I think I might, that scared me. We The drop down scared me. Uh, I think I'm going to go right. I think I am going to go right. Let me text Emma back really quick. Okay. Time to get moving. We're just going to choose the store. Uh. <laughs> I have no idea. Um, I guess we can search for the door that's sunk in. This one? I'm going to put these in here because they're safer. And I'll put the emeralds because they're pretty valuable. And then I guess we'll go hit... Did I... Really? I, uh, they thought... They said it was hard. Uh, I, I guess it wasn't that hard to begin with. But I think that is going to do it for this episode, guys. We got we got mending, and we went on an adventure, and it uh, was filled with a little bit of derpism. And uh, I got to say, it was quite the fun. And uh, I really just want to explore all over fix this world How, let me know what you guys would like to do for this series because there is going to be building and stuff obviously but because this series is going to be more like it's going to be spread out there's going to be a lot of building that's off camera that i'm not going to cover um and it's going to be probably more like toury updatey sort of stuff that more andesite to steal and gravel any more andesite 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 and no we're good um hopefully this doesn't mind me just like straight up stealing things from here but i mean if he leaves it and he's not using it what's the purpose oh wow first yawn means i need to go to bed um but let me know what you guys think uh, we should do in this series because I just got done doing a recording with Grumpy Owl and he has such a cool idea for this uh, series um, because he wants to treat it as a sort of a learning thing for new Minecrafters. And I think that's a really cool idea and I, I don't want to do that exactly or anything like that. But what I, I want to kind of do, I think along with building is I, I want to explore 
and just really look at fix its builds and just kind of wander around the realm and just kind of almost study his stuff and so maybe what we do is like maybe i'll do two episodes a week of this and uh or like when when episodes come out for this we do two episodes and one is like taking a look like we'll study this and then the next the second episode is more like this is what we're doing in terms of building um so i thought maybe we could do something like that because something like studying stuff is always in my opinion if you study the I'm sorry, horse and sheep. There's a sheep down there. If you study things, then that's how you get better. That's really that. That's what it comes down to. Um, practice makes perfect. Is I mean, you can't be perfect. So, practice makes best, makes better, makes you yes, makes you better. What I want, what I think we'll do is two episodes a week when this when these come out, and what they'll be is. We'll build in one of them, and then we'll be doing uh, more studies of Fixit's things. And so I'm going to try and find different things. Even this area, as much as Fixit kind of doesn't like spawn, like he built with birch and stuff, and it's a lot of cobblestone, there's still a lot you can learn from places like this. And I think that is something that is really good to go back and even study your old builds to see what you were doing right and then you can see where where you were like going wrong and so that's uh, an idea i thought that could be very interesting so let me know what your thoughts are if you like that idea um and it's not going to happen this week but maybe next week um because i am going to be focusing on vastin for probably another week or two on t um in place of the waystone just because this is a new series and stuff um so let me know your thoughts, but I hope you guys liked this episode. It was a little derpy. We needed to get some mending stuff for our gear, and uh, it's going to set us up to be very prepared and ready to go for this series. So I'm going to stop babbling, and uh, I guess I will... Um First, do my outro. We'll be professional. So if you like the video, leave a like in real life. If you uh, are new here and you want to see more of the Realm of Vastin, you want to see the Waystone, you want to see Bruin build, you want to see Minecraft, things and that stuff, then feel free to subscribe. Join the little family we've got going here, and I will see you guys in the next episode.